Good morning. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, you know what to do. Click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Y'all, this is the only day I have this week. Well, I get the weekend, but I have to go, I'll have to go put another paper together tomorrow. Not happy about it. I'm smelling paint fumes. Look, it's the cabinet and look what it has. It has a back on it. Yay. I painted the other side. I sprayed it this morning because I didn't want to mess around with rolling paneling. So I spray painted it. The nice thing about paneling is it self-distresses. So if you never painted paneling, I did sand it, but when you paint it, it's it's something like waxy buildup, or it's just it doesn't want to be painted. So it like gets like a texture on it, and it's perfect for somebody who wants these ultimate distressed pieces because that's gonna distress itself. So I just gave it like several coats of spray paint, and then it would it would get this texture on it and then I'd go over it when it got sticky again and then it would get a different texture on it until it, it was to the point where it looked you know very well distressed without I mean it's just coated in paint but it's off gassing right now and I've got I've got the back on I need to get um, a washer on the uh, handle on the other side and then they're done this needs to dry I can it out for that we could do something else <laughs> i have to work up an invoice for her i don't know what i'm going to charge because there's no way i can charge her what this cost it was a very big learning process you know you saw you were there um huge learning process on this one so we you know we learned a lot but i can't possibly charge her what i would normally charge for something that took that long um, the repairs were unexpected, so there will be charges for the repaired drawer and the new back and stuff like that. And she just, she approved the back. She's going to have to approve the drawer because I couldn't leave it that way. No, I mean, it was falling apart. So it is stable now with the back. It doesn't want to, doesn't want to fall over with the back. So for those of you who have flat pack furniture, if you if you take the back off, it's going to want to tip over on you. If you have flat pack furniture that doesn't have a back on it, eventually it's going to want to tip over on you. Okay, so put a back on it. Put a paneling back on it. They sell different kinds of paneling at the hardware store. And that's all it takes is this quarter inch um, paneling to just keep it from shifting and moving around um it gives your piece a little extra life because it will and i'm not joking it will fall over okay we all have the flat pack furniture we all have it i have it i still have a few pieces of my own but um you know mine are secured <laughs> i don't leave mine like that <laughs> I mean, it just, it's what it is. It's what it is. Oh my gosh. So, um, I'm in excruciating pain at the moment. My shoulder has, uh, it's too much. It's just too much lifting and doing. And, um, so we're going to be crafting for a while because I, I can't, can't be lifting furniture. I'm so done. I'm so done. After this, I just need a break. I have actually two chairs I'm going to be bringing in here because I hate myself. I can lift the chairs though. So, um, that's fine. That's fine. I struggle with what to share with you guys and what not to share with you guys, by the way. So there's like stuff going on in my world that affects 
me mentally and physically and all this stuff. And, and I, I struggle with like, oh, do I share this? Do I not share this? But you know what? I'm going to just share it. So I was notified yesterday that the person that I trained in to take in the, the, to do the legals for that other place that I hate doing, it's toxic. It stresses me out. They put in their two week notice. And I don't want to fill their position until they find someone new. I know. It's extremely toxic. It's the worst time I've ever had. I don't want to be there. I don't want to do it. I don't want to be part of it. So I'm mentally struggling right now with. What do I do? Like, and there's other little toxicity issues in my world that, um, that I'm struggling with as well. I don't know what to do. You just said, sort of like, there's no, there's no right and wrong answers for some of this stuff. I'm going to get another nail on here. I think two more at the top aren't going to hurt anything. I did pre-drill my pilot holes for most of them. And then I didn't. It's not going to crack or anything like that. It was that when I was um, putting the first few pieces on, if you've ever hammered onto uh, paneling, it tends to want to spring back at you, right? So you're holding it up with one hand, trying to hold it up and nail it on. So that's why I pre-drilled the first few pilot holes. And then um, you can stick the nail in and then hammer it in. It made it a little bit easier, but for these final ones I did not pre-drill <laughs> like paneling will just ricochet that hammer right back at you like you hit it it's like Bing! <laughs> might as well be rubber paneling <laughs> you gotta do something but this little kit that I bought at the garage sale remember this for five bucks has come in handy because it had the right nails that I needed I had bought these nails and they didn't have the right nails. I was like, these are too long and too big. Um, but this one works good. Let's put another one like right in here. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm a mess. So tomorrow, which is normally a day off for me and I get to do stuff for, with you guys. I have to go in and put together the Thanksgiving paper. So our paper comes out on Thursday, which Thanksgiving is on a Thursday. Y'all know that. Didn't need me to tell you. Um, so we have to we have to put it together two days early. I can't possibly get my job done in one day. Like on Monday when I go in, I can't possibly do my job and then actually lay out the paper. So I have to go in tomorrow and get all my stuff done so that on Monday we can just lay out the paper but then I have Tuesday and Wednesday and we're going to the booth I don't have to work Tuesday and Wednesday next week and we're gonna go to the booth and um just love it up we're gonna love it and hopefully grab a few pieces to take to Vintage Junkie oh, that'll be nice oh, for, for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, all that good stuff that's coming up. The shopping extravaganza that is the holidays. Um, some of you have asked how my online sales are going. They're not. Like, I had a flurry of sales where I thought, wow, this is awesome. This is great. And now it's just like, wah, wah. So, I don't know what's going on. I got to start loading up stuff. Oh. Where are my washers? I don't find my washers because I have a whole package of them. Remember I bought a whole package of washers because I never had washers when I needed them or the right size washer when I did find one. So I bought an assortment of them. Now do you think I can find them? No. They're supposed to be right there. Are they right there? They are not right there. 
I swear, sometimes I must just get drunk and just be like, eh, it doesn't need to go back where it belongs. I don't need that. That would make life too easy. It's ADHD. Anyway, this is good. This is holding this thing together. It's going to off gas. I'm going to find that washer and I'll be back. We're all secure now. Handles are tight. Back is on, you can see. There's the bag. It's all dark in there. Need to put the shelf back in there. The only thing is, is it doesn't like, it's not against, they're going to lose stuff back there. That's my thinking. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to attach it to that. Like my brain doesn't work like that, but here's the shelf. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> so, I mean, this one, this one. I don't even want to be in the room that this one's in when I'm done. Like, when I freaking have to go in for an appointment, I'm going to be like, I don't want to be in that room. Not in that room. I don't want to see that cabinet again. What are we going to do? I haven't thought of anything. What should we work on? I'm so freaking excited. I'm done. I literally thought that would take a lot longer. Um, ooh, what do we work on? I still have hours in my day. Okay, let me figure out what I'm going to do. Now we're going to do it. I'm very excited. There's Here's the thing. I have so many projects I want to do that I was starting to feel like, I don't know what to do. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I, you know, cleaned up a little bit, sat with myself for a second, finished that. Now I have these. So it's Christmas time. It's time for paper trees and stuff like that but my friend Kelsey yeah she's my friend I'm gonna call her my friend she don't want to be my friend she says that we have to do stuff outside of work to be friends but here we are friend <laughs> I'm gonna call her a friend anyway she had these vintage doll craft heads that I bought I got two of them one of them fell on the floor on the other side of this table so I'm not gonna go grab it right now I uh, feel like crawling around on the floor. And then Miss Victoria gave me her big fluffy yarn that she's not going to use to crochet things now. And to be fair, I did buy the big fluffy yarn. So her being generous and giving it to me is... All right. <laughs> Thank you. Since I paid for it. And... um she's going to become an angel. I'm going to make an angel. I'm going to cover this. I don't know if I should start at the top or the bottom. And I'm going to cover this in the big fluffy yarn. Look at Oh, it already looks pretty. This would be a cute tree too. If I have any left over, I've got extra forms. Maybe I'll just make a tree. Eh. Maybe. I've got hot glue going. I'm heating up. It's taking it. It's on low. It's taking its own sweet time there. Let's get that heated up. And we got an extra long glue stick, so I'm good to go. Had dirt on it. Extra long glue stick, so I'm good to go. And that's what I'm going to do today is just sort of prep some projects. So I've got so many Christmas projects that I want to start and get done and so little time. So I've got to just bulk work and, you know, like base coat something in paint and then glue this. And then I've got to repair this. So I've got this. I found this at a garage sale. Remember? Garage sale thrift store anyway. Thrift store. And, um, it's cute, but I think I'm going to like re-glitter the tree and maybe do something more with it. Just 
give it a little more life than it has right now. So there's just a lot of little, little, little things I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Because it's not going to be till Tuesday and Wednesday next week that I'm going to take things to the booth. But I need to package ornaments. I need to price stuff. I need to get the, the just, the, just, never ending. Yes. So we have some hot glue here. And I am just going to start gluing. Give myself a starting point here. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to do this for a couple weeks. Um, and there she is. There's the start. Now I'm going to wrap this entire cone in the fluffy white stuff. We are going to make ourselves an angel. I did my wings too. Um, they arrived. They're somewhere. I don't know. I'll define them. We absolutely have to do a tree like this. <laughs> so pretty. So soft. But I am regretting not painting the cone. Because as you can see, you can there are little gaps. I don't know what to do here. But it's soft and it's pretty and it's gonna look cute with the an angel head on it. So yay, we did something today. I went ahead and did a tree. I wrap this one tighter. It looks better. So you can see it needs to be. I need to get all the glue strings off of it, but that looks better. Yeah, I don't know why my camera is like, like that, but yeah, looks good. I think this is cute. It's so soft. Oh, so you can see next to the other one, I wrapped it tighter. And it covered up like the brown spots, but it is what it is. Live and learn. And I started this one at the top instead of the bottom. And I think that gave me a better spiral pattern. So like I started this one down here and you can see it jog up where the one I started at the top has better. Perfect spiral. Start at the top is what I'm saying. Work your way down. Okay, we have conferences today, so I'm going to go shower and put some makeup on and pretend like I'm a normal human being for these teachers. <laughs> you know, so I think this day is just a worthless day. Not worthless, but like it's just getting caught up and finishing up and cleaning up and doing all this stuff. And I'm, I should probably take a shower. Put some makeup on and some clean clothes and pretend to be normal for like however long these conferences take. So thanks for watching, you guys. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.